I don't know if he was detained. I gather he was questioned about Atlantic International Bank, but the, the bank is now in liquidation. So I, I think the central bank, not I think, the central bank has appointed a liquidator, Mr. Murillo. And um, I don't mind telling you that I had a meeting with the U.S. Chargé d'Affaires uh, on Tuesday, and the FTC people called into that meeting. They, you were having the meeting and wanted to participate. And so we're talking a settlement. We're talking a settlement. Um, so I am hopeful that we can get a settlement. The question is how to reconcile the FTC's interest in, as they put it, victim compensation and our interest, which also has to be their interest as well, in making sure that depositors, 80 odd percent of whom are Americans, don't get left with nothing. So uh, it's going to be a hell of an exercise trying to split the baby in terms of, of, of distribution of assets. But the bottom line is, I have made it quite plain that while it is the liquidator who has custody of the bank, the central bank has a vested interest, you can call the central bank an interested party, and the government of Belize is very keen on seeing this thing sorted because we want whatever cloud the AIBL saga has caused to be lifted from over our jurisdiction. So that's what the, the, the talks that are to take place this week between the central bank, the liquidator, and the FTC hopefully will achieve.